and we're about to talk about it. So right now, a spoiler-free review of the latest film from Ty West, the prequel to the film X, which as of right now, out of every movie this year, 2022, that I have watched, X has been my favorite. I haven't given any movie this year a five you digs yet. Not, not new movies. But I gave X a 4.69. And that's the highest right now. And right behind it would be everything, everywhere, all at once. And so I was very excited to check out Pearl, which is the prequel. I'll tell you what, it's a way different movie. Let's dig into it. So I guess Pearl came out a, like a couple months ago or whatever. I was not able to make it to the theater to see it. It hurt me not to be able to go see this movie when it first came out because I really, really wanted to, but things were getting busy. We we're rearing into horror fest, but I love Ty West's X. Like I said, it's my favorite movie of the year so far, a throwback to that 70s, early 80s slasher, Texas Chainsaw Massacre kind of vibe that I absolutely loved. Now, one of the main characters, one of the main antagonists in that movie is this old woman named Pearl, who's a nymphomaniac and a maniac. She's a murderer. This is her story. So Pearl is a film by Ty West that was co-written by the star Mia Goth. Now, Mia Goth played old lady Pearl in X. She also played the character Maxine in X, and she was fantastic in that movie. This is a better performance from her. Holy cow. Mia Goth is amazing in this film. She also is a co-producer. She's also the co-writer. Martin Scorsese loved this film, made me want to see it even more, and he said that Mia Goth, he listed her as a creative partner and muse to Ty West, and you totally, totally feel it. Um, so this is the story of Pearl. It takes place on the same farmhouse as X. She lives there with her mother, who is incredibly overbearing. Oh my goodness. And she's got a father who's sick. He is uh, not doing well at all. This also takes place in 1918 during that uh, Spanish flu epidemic. And so there's there's some interesting bits that they're doing about the masks and the pandemic and whatnot. But it's interesting how it relates to today, but in a different way, not in a judgmental on either side kind of way. Really like it. But a lot of the stuff that we saw in X, like the crocodile, it's in here. And having seen X, it builds up even more tension in this movie. Um, Pearl is alone on this farm with her parents. She's taking care of her dad. Her mom's like lost it. She's overbearing. And she just wants to be a dancer. She wants to be a star. She wants to be in the movies. So she goes and sneaks off and watches the movies whenever she can. She meets this film projector, a projectionist. And he kind of awakens something inside of her, um, which leads to an awesome scene with the Scarecrow. This movie, by the way, has a lot of imagery and symbolism and, and parallels with Wizard of Oz, which is interesting. If X totally captured the vibe of that 70s slasher, this one is capturing that vibe of the golden age of old Hollywood. But she kind of develops these feelings for this projectionist or whatnot. She has a husband who's off fighting the war, so that's always going on in the background. But her interest in him, her, his he shows her a stag film, which ties into the, the pornography theme that we got in X. I thought that this movie would veer more into that, but it veers more into the descent of madness of Pearl. She's a, a sad figure, in a sad, miserable situation, and you feel for her, but when she starts really turning, it turns. And like I said, there are parallels to Wizard of Oz, and I can get that. Not just with the setting, not just with that wild scarecrow scene, but I think the film projector is the tin, the tin woodsman, right? And maybe even the projectionist is a part of that. But I also think that it does some interesting stuff by painting Pearl as the Wicked Witch, right? And then her 
her sister-in-law here is like the good witch. I, there does some interesting things. Obviously, this is a little bit of a slasher film, but it's not so full board into the slasher film like X was. This one is more of a character-driven movie. It is a study on Pearl and her descent into madness. Utter madness. The music is great. The cinematography is amazing. I actually think it's... I think I think technically it's a better film than X, but to me X was just so appealing. But holy crap, Mia Goth is perfection in this movie. There is a moment towards the end of the film where it the whole film rests on like a 10-minute monologue where they do not move the camera. It's just Mia Goth doing her thing and it just rocks. She definitely needs to be nominated for Best Actress for this movie. I freaking loved Pearl. One of my favorite movies of the year. Not as good as X to me, but X just scratches that that like late 70s, early 80s slasher sleaze bit for me. Pearl, though, does something. It dives deeper. It's richer, but a little bit more of a slow burn. That's what Ty West does. I'm excited to look into more of his film. Right now, I would give Pearl... Let me think about this. I would give it a 4.5, you digs. That's out of 5. It's a really good film. I was incredibly impressed with this movie. Um, Mia Goth is... She is a presence in this movie. I loved her in X, but holy cow, she gives it everything she's got. The problem is with the movie, if I have a a nitpick, none of the other characters really are fleshed out well enough for me. The dad stuff is cool. The mom is a great character. The projectionist and the sister-in-law are good characters, but that's pretty much all we got. So it's a smaller cast, just a little bit smaller, but there's less of a personality from some of these other characters. Not that there's less of a personality. The mom is definitively defined, and so is the projectionist a bit. But they, aside from the mom, they all just feel kind of a bit there and generic. That's the only thing I got against this film. Technically, incredibly sound. Ty West knows how to make a damn movie. I watched House by the Devil last week for the first time. Thought it was a bit slow. Took a minute to really get there. But then I did watch it on Joe Bob's last drive-in. So he was cutting in, telling me information. But I love watching it like that. I love watching movies new like that, too. It reminds me of watching some of this stuff on Monster Vision back in the 90s for the first time. This is a fantastic film. A fantastic film. Ty West has done two of these damn movies, right? Like, out of nowhere, X comes out, and then Pearl's announced, and now we're getting a third film, which is a sequel to X called Maxine, which picks up on Mia Goth's character from X. She was like, spoilers, the sole survivor. I She's amazing. The cinematography is gorgeous. The music is great, too, because it, it plays with that old... Hollywood style and aesthetic and vibe and feel and it really works for me y'all I think I might be a Ty West fan and I haven't even seen but three of his damn movies this is solid doesn't quite match up to X for me just because X is just like sex and kills and this one's a little bit more deeper a little bit more uh of a character study right but it works man it may technically be a better film But as far as favorites, X gets the smidgen. So for me, Pearl would definitely get a very enthusiastic 4.5, but not quite a 4.69. One of my favorite movies of this year. What did you think about it? Let us know.